This is a bad goal. This is a good goal. It has all of the smart goal criteria. It's specific, it's measurable, achievable, relevant, and timely. But how come so many smart, intelligent people have trouble losing weight or spending less time on their phone, making progress on their side job, achieving what they truly want? Everyone is capable of drafting a quality goal, but the goal isn't to craft a pretty looking goal with all of the right criteria. The goal is to accomplish whatever it is. This video is not about setting up your goal with all the right criteria. It's strictly about how to have a higher success rate in achieving your goals. You know how every January the gyms get full from all the people promising themselves they will work out five days a week for the next year? Use these 10 tips I'm about to tell you to not be one of those people who cancel their gym membership in February. Tip number one is to set a goal you want, not your boss or your parents or society. Set a goal that you are passionate about. Take a concept of a goal. You maybe want to make more money, get a job, start a YouTube channel, learn to play the piano, lose weight, whatever it is, take it and ask yourself three why questions. Question number one, why do I want this? Question two, is the answer from the first question my actual why or is there a deeper reason? And question three, how would my life and those around me change if I accomplish this goal? The point is to get below a surface answer. So spend some time on this. I'll give you a personal example. My goal, by January 1st, 2022, I will have an average passive income of $5,000 a month. Answer to question one. I want more money to buy things and not be a slave to a job. Second question. I guess I don't actually want more money. I What I truly want is great experiences with great people. And I believe that a passive income will provide time freedom and freedom from bad stress and also freedom to pursue my passions with friends. That's what I truly want. And then the answer to question three, I wouldn't have the stresses I have now. I would be happier. I would be able to help more people with my free time, visit family and friends often, and be able to expand my bucket list to maybe even two pages and have more time to start nonprofits and businesses. These are the things I want. If all that isn't a good enough reason for me to achieve my goals, I don't know what would be. If you are serious about change and achieving your goals, ask yourself these three questions right now and write them down. Tip number two, ask yourself pain inducing questions. Now, hear me out. Ask yourself, what will this cost me if I don't change or reach my quota? lose the weight, get the girl, spend more time doing X, whatever it is, will it cost you a marriage? If you don't change, will you lose self-esteem, a friend, even your own happiness? Pause this video right now and ask yourself, right now, if I don't change X, what will it cost me? Now that you know what it will cost you, use that as part of your why, part of your driving force and why you must change. Tip number three. Tell your goals to people you respect. If you respect a parent, a teacher, close friend, a boss, a coworker, tell them. The trick here is to not just tell everybody, but those who you want to keep a good image with. If you tell strangers who you don't know, it wouldn't make much of a difference. But if you put it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you care who views your post because it's a reflection of your image. The more people you tell whom you respect, the easier it will be to complete your goals purely out of maintaining the mutual respect. So tip number three is tell your goals to a lot of people you respect. Tip number four, just write it down. It takes one minute. A Harvard business study showed 83% of their participants didn't even have goals. Now, 14% of them had plans, but had not written them down. And the study found that this group, the 14%, was actually 10 times more likely to succeed than those without any goals, the 
then the other 3% had written down their goals. And they were three times more likely to succeed than the group who had some plan in mind. So write it down and it doesn't open up the door for vagueness. Tip number five, take action immediately. A good rule of thumb whenever you make a big decision is to never leave the scene of that decision without making an action towards it. This doesn't mean that if you have a goal of losing 30 pounds in the next 60 days that you work out immediately right then and there. An action could be as small as intentionally looking up exercises to do and then print them out or buying a membership to the gym. The point is to reinforce your self image and your commitment. And it is also the very first action step towards completing your goal. One easy, immediate action helps show that this is just not a pipe dream for you. Tip six is crucial. You have to own your goal. If your goal is to never smoke cigarettes again, own it. Create an identity around yourself as a person you are working towards, a non-smoker. We'll use quitting smoking as an example. So someone walks up to you and offers you a cigarette. You can either say, A, no thank you, I'm, I'm trying to quit, or B, no thank you, I'm not, just not a smoker. The two different statements offer two different identities. One statement has an identity of trying to quit. We all know wisdom from Yoda. Trying is an open invitation to failing. Now, the other statement is somebody who owns the identity of a non-smoker. The idea of creating an identity will not only help you accomplish your goals, but also improve your self-esteem and the respect you have for yourself. That can honestly be a whole other topic. Again, tip number six is own your goal. If you'd like more details on this tip, leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram for something a little more personal. All right, tip number seven, remind yourself and remind others of your goal. You would not have set a goal if you did not believe it was achievable at one point in time. You need to remind yourself of that. Hold on to that feeling you first had when you set that goal. It's a great feeling. You were probably amped up, excited for what was gonna come it's not you wanted it, you still want it. We are all human, we forget. Sometimes we even forget the important things. After you have written down your goals, tape them to a wall, and before you get your day started, read them every day. It will probably take one minute. And if you're the type of person who says, I don't have one minute in my day to read something you want to achieve that you're passionate about, and you have a strong why, you're a fool. So get creative reminding yourself and your goals. You can write your goals and put them on the fridge or even record yourself speaking them and play them in your car on your way to work. And then when you get to work, tell those you respect how your goals are coming along. Whether it's good or bad news, they are your support team and want what's best for you. They're gonna help you. Also, part of reminding others is telling them your new identity. This might be a bit weird at first, but if you live a grumpy life and your goal is to smile, in the mirror for two minutes every day for the next 30 days, let's just say. Because of your desire to be happier, you can also just start by telling those you respect, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life, or I'm just so happy today. Speak it into existence. I know it sounds cheesy and, and awkward, but let people know, strengthen your identity. So remind yourself and others of your goals. Tip number eight, personalize your goal. Now that you have written down your goal, Personalize it by writing something of the likes, I will have a thousand extra dollars in my account by the end of the month. I will stop smoking within the next three months. I will take my wife out to dinner once a week. You want to speak in first person and also use strong language such as will. Remember Yoda again? Yoda says there is no try. So when you write down your goals, personalize it and use strong language because you will get that promotion. The girl, the body, you will stop eating Twinkies, being impatient or smoking. Tip number nine, set sub goals. Sub goals are goals you set as stepping stones to your larger desires. If your overall goal is to, let's just say, find the love of your life and propose within the next two years, what are your sub goals going to be between now and the next month? or maybe even six months. And after you've taken that step and reached that sub goal, 
set the next sub goal for the next month. And now you're probably thinking, ah, oh, geez, I don't, I don't want to have to make more goals. The, the ones I have right now are, are hard enough and I, I don't need to write them all out. Let me tell you this. It is rare. It is a rare person who accomplishes anything challenging without a plan. And sub goals are a part of that plan. Set sub goals and get excited about them because that means you're just one step closer to what you've always wanted. Tip number 10, the last tip, have an accountability partner. You can tell your friends and family and anyone else you respect, but choose one to two people to check up with you and your goals. Give them a copy of your goals and you can go as far as having them sign a contract with you. All right, bonus tip because I really had 11 and it's a fun one, reward your small wins. However you choose to reward yourself, just be sure the reward is not in opposition to what you want to achieve. For example, if your goal is to work out five days a week for the next month, don't reward yourself with a whole pint of cookie dough ice cream after working out. Reward yourself by watching an extra episode of your favorite show or go on a small shopping splurge. There's a quote I love by James Clear. It goes, every action is a vote for the type of person I wish to become. Every time you decide to work late, eat the carrot instead, do the extra push up, that is a vote for the person you want to become through reaching your goal. I hope you took notes and wrote the answers to your questions down because your life is important and that's how you should treat it. I want to challenge anyone listening to follow these tips and act. Within the next 10 days, utilize all 10 tips plus the bonus tip. Your confidence will rise, your self-esteem will rise, and you will be closer than ever to reaching your goals. Comment down below your own goals and how you plan to achieve them. I would really like to hear all the different passions and ambitions everybody has. If you'd like to see more of this type of video, please consider subscribing. Guys, there is no magic one piece of information. As bad as both you and I want there to be one, there isn't. You now have the knowledge to make a good goal and actually execute it and actually accomplish it. Remember, knowledge isn't power. If it was, librarians would rule the world. Remember, knowledge is only potential power. You must act on it. You can see more of my personal life and passions on Instagram at Banner Plum. Till the next video, be good.